According to the dictionary, great means big, large and more than ordinary. So it's entirely appropriate that these guys are called Great Danes. Do they often sit on your lap? Of course, all no. the time. Yes. How can you do this? They don't realise how big they are. <gasps> they He's still massive. Prepared. Now, do they make a big impact on your life as well? Oh, certainly. One of the quirks yeah. is they'll follow you through every room in the house, the bathroom, yeah. wherever you go, they want to be there with you. <laughs> if they can fit. Yeah. If oh, they like can fit. <laughs> What's for dinner in the kitchen, eh? Day-to-day -day care. Is it hard work? <laughs> no. They're short-coated, they don't lose a lot of hair. They're non-barkers, they'll only bark if uh, people come to visit. Ear problems, jowl problems, no, some eyes. Some can be slobbery, some are not. This fella here is not slobbery at all. Is that they, just luck of the draw? That's just luck of okay. the draw. So you can't know Often when you buy big, one at the six weeks. The bigger the jowls, the more slobber. It tends to be. Did you have to teach the dog to understand the size of the boys and, and how not to hit, run them over? And no, he has a different level of tolerance for each of the, the three boys. Does he? So um, yeah. he's, he'll let him do anything. We have to worry about him biting Mac rather than the other way around. And um, as, it, as each child goes up, he has a different tolerance. Great Danes have an incredibly rapid growth rate. This little guy is only four weeks old and within 12 months he will weigh around 80 kilos and stand over a metre high. So nutrition and controlling that growth rate is vitally important. Ideally you want them to grow at about two kilos a week, uh, which controls and keeps the growth rate very slow. We don't want Danes to grow with a fast growth rate, growth rate because it destroys the, the growth plates in the legs. What about what you feed them? We feed basically um, a, a good dry food um, that's about 24% protein. No calcium should be added at all. If you work through a reputable breeder, they will give you a, a diet sheet. If you follow that diet sheet, you won't go wrong. Now, tell me about the, the mud on your jacket. Does that come uh, with the Great Dane? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> uh, they like to uh, jump and leap and play. Do they ever knock you down? Often, <laughs> unfortunately. But hey, that's all part of owning a large dog. What are the positives? Well, the main positive is you'll never walk in a Great Dane do <laughs> because you can always see them. That's what um, I was going to have big yeah. the poo, that's oh, right. <laughs> they're, they're good size. Great Danes are fabulous watchdogs. Uh, they will protect their, their property and their people 100%, um, yet beautiful with a family. Disadvantages of having such a large dog? Again, the size, and they have to be disciplined as a young dog. Um, you let them get away with the garbage as a young dog, you'll have an unruly large dog, and you just won't be able to control it. Sit. Health problems? Being okay. so large? I don't think that we have any major health issues in our breed. We're, we're very fortunate in that respect. And breeders have been responsible enough to try to x-ray for hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, etc. And we have weeded them out. They love to be spoiled, but uh, if you do spoil them, they, they just spoil you back with the amount of love that they give you. 